It's time to Ask Dave, lightning round edition, right now on GCG TV. Hi everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us today as we tackle the battery charger questions we get most frequently. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started looking at what has people puzzled most. First up, how long does it take to charge a golf cart? The quick answer is, it depends. Three factors. One, the quality of your batteries. Two, how discharged they are. And number three, the quality of your charger. Everyone's experience is different depending on these factors, but in average cases, six to eight hours is usually enough and most people charge overnight. Next up, should I charge the golf cart after every use? Yes, the more time your batteries spend charged to full, the longer their overall life will be. Summit 2 chargers are meant to be plugged in whenever you're not driving. Summit 2 takes care of the rest. Next up, should I charge the cart in run or tow? The golf cart should be in run whenever in use or charging. Tow mode is only for long-term storage, electrical install, moving the cart on a trailer, or removing the batteries. Next up, what is the deal with amps and how many amps should my golf cart charger have? Amperage is the amount of force the charger is using to deliver voltage. Higher amps means faster charging, and lower amps means less battery stress. Generally, charging 48 volts, it should be in the 13 amp range, and with 36 volt charging, it should start in the 21 amp ballpark. Next, can I use my stationary or offboard charger on board my golf cart. This also depends on the charger again. Summit chargers can be used either way because they're waterproof and they can be on the cart full time if you choose. With older style chargers that are fan cooled, moisture and dust become a damaging factor and those chargers should be kept in your storage area. Next up, can I use a 36 volt charger on a 48 volt cart? No. Some chargers do have multiple voltages, but if yours is a dedicated 36 volt, it won't properly charge a 48 volt. Be sure to use the right tool for the right job. Whew, that covered a lot. Remember to subscribe and keep watching as we answer more burning questions right here on GCG TV. Got one of your own? Shoot me an email to askdave at golfcartgarage.com.